my bad y'all when i twisted that um i know y'all ended up seeing the video of the collective with that 11 11 but i had to twist the camera around to show that 11 11 on the clock is once i was saying that you know with twin you know with a soulmate connection here coming together whatever i was saying because i can't remember and i'm very excited about that and i wanted you guys to see it but there was the only way that i could twist that camera was twisting it y'all watching it and once i twist it back it turns off so we're here number two collective number two which is the same as number one and i hate when that shit happens when it could continue here let me see what are the messages that you and this person will be feeding towards each other. Let me see. It could be anybody, okay? But you have to release all these old energies. It's these people. Listen, somebody here was born. She keeps on telling me and was cursed at birth or was cursed inside the womb. Or somebody was cursed growing up here not to have happiness. It was a lot of, like, you know, witchcraft done in the family and a lot of things going on with, you know, Wiccan, even Wiccan stuff in the family. And this caused you a problem. Let me see. What is the message here from the collectives? Mineira. What is the message here for the collective? Right. Let me see. Man, I wish that video wouldn't shut off. Y'all saw the 11 11, huh? You gotta go back to the last video you've seen this one. There's the second part of the first collective I'm doing, okay? So let's see. It says, I'm not ignoring you. I'm thinking about our connection. I'm telling you, somebody here misses you. Somebody who wants to be with you. Somebody who doesn't know what to do. They miss you. They're, they're not ignoring you. They're just trying to think about your connection, how to come towards your way. Because they don't know how to do it. They're very hurt. They're like in her mode. They don't know how you're going to take this. You feel me? They don't know if you're going to take them back. There was a lot of celebrations here with this person. A lot of good times. A lot of beautiful, beautiful things you did together. You might have known this person and maybe it's somebody here that's coming in new and, you know, you feel like, okay, I met somebody and they're ignoring me. No, they're thinking about the connection. They don't understand it. It's like I'm picking up, like, they feel like they know you. Like, there's there's something going on here with the universe. I'm telling you, there's a soulmate connection that cannot be broken. I know I have father issues. It could be a baby daddy here. You know, it could be a baby mama a situation here. It could be somebody here that wasn't good enough at the moment. I'm picking up here a lot of trouble with this person. They might have not been at the person, you know, at the moment that they should have been. But I'm, I'm picking up here a lot of father issues here with somebody when they were a child. A father was very abusive here. Our father's holding out a secret here and held him down to the end. She just told me, hasta la muerte. Somebody here passed on. It was a father figure, a stepfather, whoever raised you with secrets that you needed to know. And this person hurt you really bad. It was either a father or um, a stepfather. I want to contact you, but I'm not sure what to say or how to approach you. I cannot make this fucking shit up. I can't. I motherfucking can't. I just can't. My my face is still really, really hot, and I'm still feeling this in my gut. Like, my God. Whoever here is feeling their face hotter is maybe is crying. I feel like there's somebody here crying their eyes out. This person does not know what to say to you. They don't know how to approach you. They don't know what to say. You might need to have to, like, you know, throw little hints out there or just wait until this person comes in. But there's a soulmate connection, a twin friend connection something that the universe you signed contracts with this person before you were born you and this person signed a contract together you're supposed to finish this lifetime together and it's going to be beautiful success abundance children you know whatever it is if the time has passed by and you don't have children you know you will be successful together celebrations beautiful things you know there's a lot of people heartbroken here a lot of people broken you know that are probably um heartbroken by the situation and i feel like somebody here was left out in the street somebody here was homeless at some point because of all these fucking spells and uh, witchcraft i regret what i said to you so whatever this person said to you that was hurtful and painful and they didn't mean it they regret it they did not mean it you know and sometimes when you're mad you say things that you don't mean remember when you're mad you know, the mouth could be a killer. You feel me? Let me see. I want you to chase me. This person wants to, to communicate. You know, this person might not, not know how to open up. They might not know how to tell you, listen, I want to be with you. They might need you to, you know, take a little step forward and say something so they could open up. This person has a lot of childhood traumas. A lot of traumas within probably a father. A lot of anxiety. A lot of depression. This person needs help when it comes to opening up and, and their souls too. But this person is destined to be with you. It's like this person holds you down. 
I feel that this person, no matter what happened, no matter how many fights, you know, if you were with this person, if you weren't with this person, and you know this person, no matter what happened, this person was there always for you. When we're together, I feel alive. And time stands still. This is somebody you know. Or somebody you just met that's feeling it. Is a soulmate connection coming together? Or is a soulmate connection that it was broken for sure? It needs to come back together. This person feels very alive when they're with you. And I feel like you're the only person they feel alive with. I feel like time stands still. Like it says, when they're not with you, it's like, life doesn't matter anymore. She's saying it. So life doesn't matter to this person when they're not with you. It matters when they're with you. They feel alive. They feel like you're part of them. Why? Because you've lived past life with this person. You're supposed to end it now. I want to see you again. But now is not the time, the right time. This person doesn't know how to connect with you. It is the right time. They just feel like it's not the right time because they don't know how to approach the situation. I feel like they might be fixing all these things in anxiety, depression. They cannot fix it unless they're with you. She's telling me. They cannot fix this unless you and this person reunite. It's the only way that you or this person is going to fix it. I could be picking up on you. All the collectors that are here, I could be picking up. I could be, oh God. I could be picking up on whoever here I'm picking up on your side. I'm not sure what to do or say. I feel like this is your energy along with this person's energy. You don't even know what to say right now. For some of yeah. y'all. And this person doesn't know what to say. Clearly, everything coming from this person's side, they don't know how to communicate. They don't know how to approach you. And I don't feel like it was a crazy situation. I feel like it was something that was meant to be, was broken with voodoo, like I said. But I feel like some of y'all don't even know who this soulmate connection is. And it's going to come together now. But they don't know what to say. It's like it feels, it feels like, what I'm feeling that this person is picking up is like, this is too good to be true. What's going on here? They don't understand this. You might even have to explain it to them. I don't know how to have a healthy relationship. You see what I'm saying? They think they don't know how to have a healthy relationship because they've had all type of crazy ass fucking relationships. Where is it? Right here. That has caused them so many burden, anxiety, depression, betrayal, all kind of shit. That has left them, you know, in a point, and even you. Because I'm picking up for both of you this. You know, it's like, you don't even feel like you could have a good relationship. And this person doesn't even feel like they could have a healthy one. Why? Because so much shit has happened. They've hit so many karmics. It's incredible. You know, they might be serving karmic from a, a past lifetime. Or whatever happened between you and this person. Or whatever they've done. You feel me? But they feel like they cannot have a healthy relationship. Because of all the burdens. All the cheating. All the anxiety and depression they're feeling right now. And it's because people have done them dirty. Just like people have done you dirty. You feel me? And I feel like for a lot of you, there's a lot of family coming in here. I don't know why. There's a lot of family trauma coming in here. And let me tell you something. She's telling me, mucha familia. So there's a lot of family trauma here. Like, what could you expect? You grew up in a certain way. It's not your fault. What you've gone through when you're a child is not your fault. It makes you grow up in a different way. You feel me? But you need to learn how to, you know, fix it in some type of way. Because the universe, the ancestors, the guys, the universe itself is here trying to open you up and guide you. This is a beautiful collective. I love it. This person wants you to fall into their arms. Let's see. I'm not even going to shuffle them. I was drawn to this one for some reason. I'm going to shuffle these. What is the message here? For this collective, you know, you know. oh, she's throwing a lot down. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't care. Seven. That's a universal number. Uh, a number. Damn number. What the fuck? That's a universal number. So I'm gonna take them all. Okay. So let me see what you want. The one that I picked. I picked this one. Look how beautiful the artwork. I never show it. This one says healing. Imagine yourself. Or you'll be loved surrounded by light. For your relationship being healed at this very moment. You could heal this. This is soulmate connection. Whatever's been done or said, it could be healed. Okay? Whoever you're waiting for, it could be healed. You just have to learn, trust the universe. Because if you don't do it, the universe is going to do it for you. Look at this soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this. My God, I cannot make this shit up. It's like, my God. 
My foot is full of negra, mía, todos los días. I'm praising my negra. My negra is my ancestor, the one that I work with the most. Soulmate, your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this is believe this, and they will manifest physically. Okay, your soulmate is on its way. Whoever it was, if it was somebody that you know you didn't make it with, you couldn't lift off the ground with. If you somebody had you know um, a separation here and it was not that bad, and you still miss this person, they miss you, and you know they miss you, it's gonna come back together where it's a new person coming in. But I'm feeling a lot here, and somebody's face is very hot here. I feel like somebody's face is still hot here, or you're crying so much that your face is turning hot. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life, regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. You can allow to be happy. You're allowed to be happy. You know, just close your eyes and imagine and tell yourself that you deserve everything that the universe wants to give you right now. Love, success, abundance, you know, happiness with you, your family, your children, whatever it is. Allow it to come into your life because it's going to come in, okay? The universe is ready to give it to you. Only time will tell. So if y'all wonder when is it coming in, only time will tell. It's coming in the universe. You know, it doesn't have no time. Friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship. And your love life will dramatically improve. You know, when you meet somebody or you're with somebody or whatever is going on here with a soulmate connection here. Because there's a soulmate connection going on here. You know, you have to honor and nurture the fr your friendship, okay? You have to be friends first. But I'm not saying, like, be friends and then jump and, you know, together. No, no, no. You have to always nurture that friendship that you both have a bond with, okay? It's not only your man, your female. You feel me? Like, you know, it's not only about a relationship. You have to have fun like friends. You have to go out like friends. You have to chill like friends. If you see a girl and you're both together, okay, she looks good. Yeah, she looks good. If you see a guy and your girl's looking at the guy and she's like, damn, you know, she don't, you know, she don't say nothing and she's looking, be proud. You know, you don't got to hate a person. You don't got to fight with your girl because she's looking at another person. That's the way life is. Just know that your person's right next to you. Have fun like friends. That's going to bring your relationship more power. Playfulness. And laughter is the best therapy. And I don't give a fuck who says here, hell nah, my girl won't look at another a nigga. Or a girl says here, because I, I already hear it. Ain't my man going to look at nobody else. Let me tell you, that's some, that's some childish shit. And I'm sorry. Whoever doesn't like it here could jump to another channel. But to me, that's very childish. It's very childish. Because if you have confidence and self-esteem, you don't got to worry about what your person next to you is doing. If they look in, the eyes are made to look. If they ain't touching, that's a whole nother level. But if you're going to get into a big fight with your person, because I feel like this happened already. That's why she said to me so hard. Because they looking at somebody, that's the most childish shit I ever heard. Yeah, you can tell your person, what you looking at? You like it more than me? And make it a joke. Like it says here, my ancestor is clearly saying here, Playfulness will make your relationship more powerful. And some people here fight for that stupidness, which to me is childish. If my mind's looking at a girl, I'm going to look at her and I'm going to say, okay, you know what? I don't like the way she looks, but she's beautiful anyways, if she has a good heart. But if she looks good, I'm going to tell my mind she look good. She look good. But keep on looking straight, baby. Before You know what I'm saying? Like a playful way. Y'all need to get, to, you need, you need to get it together because I hear it already. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. Love conquers all people. The, most you, the more you love each other, the more you play with each other, the more you bring that friendship, that inner child towards each other, the more the relationship is more beautiful. Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. I'm telling you, a beautiful connection is coming here. You know, you deserve it. It's time to give thanks. Give thanks to the universe. Give thanks to the guys. Give thanks to my ancestor that's connecting with your guys, that connects with the universe, that connects with everything. Please give her thanks. You know, because this came out of nowhere this morning. I've been sitting here for three hours trying to say, should I go in or should I... And she's making me cry. Because she said thank you to me. Gracias. Yo te adoro. She told me she loves me. But, you know, give blessings. 
and give thanks for the blessings they're giving you because a lot of things good things are coming your way you just have to know how to you know work with them and how to build with a person and how to put those playfulness together and how to be friends don't take it too far. I'm not saying go and touch somebody and go and sleep with somebody. If that's your thing, that's fine. Everybody has their own thing. You feel me? But take it to the level where you're both having fun. Don't take it to the level where it's going to get serious. And give thanks for the blessings soon to come your way. Because you have a lot of blessings, success, abundance, beautiful things, reunions, you know, family coming together, friends you haven't seen. I feel there's a lot of people from the past coming in that you haven't seen in a long time. And you're going to be like, what the fuck? Like, I haven't seen you in 20 years. You know? Somebody here's going to get married. A lot of you are going to get married this year. I'm saying it right now. Remember this reading. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose. I was just saying this shit on my, my foot of Fuminera. Let me read it again. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, this is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. All the turmoils you've been through, all the anxiety, you know, the rough times, the lies, the deceiving, you know, the cheating, everything you've been through is going to give you the blessings. You have to learn how to go through the turmoil to get to the blessings. That's what I'm saying. Live your life, have fun, because you don't know if tomorrow's here, you don't know if tomorrow's promise. You don't know if tomorrow's going to be here. You don't know if you're going to miss an opportunity with someone you love. You don't know if you're going to miss your friends, your family. You need to reunite with people that have not done such a big thing. It's been a fallout. You feel me? You need to reunite through pe with people because you don't know. Yes, there's other lifetimes, but you don't remember nobody in the other lifetimes. You will meet in the realm, but now that you're here in life, you need to forgive people. You need to realize with people that was not a big thing. Just because they didn't get along or see eye to eye or whatever the case may be. I feel the pain for a lot of you. Whatever turmoil, whatever craziness. Whatever things you've been through that has hurt you so bad has broken you into pieces. It's hard to fix. It's hard to even think about. It's hard to even say, how the fuck do I do this? But you have to keep moving forward. Because you're here for a reason. You're here for a purpose. If, you know, God, the universe, the angels, the ancestors, you know, the deities, you know, you know, Everything still has you here. It's for a reason and a purpose. But you can't live your life in depression and anxiety. You gotta move forward and be happy. Okay, love conquers all. Remember that. Let me give you some dice before I go. This could be first, middle, last initial for you. Whoever you're thinking about, whoever you think this might be, or whoever you've met. Okay. I'm hurt here because I feel the pain for some of y'all, but she's hurting. She's telling me. So many people don't understand you. The pain they cause each other for no fucking reason. And then they just don't talk ever again. And they don't understand that other people don't have this, this, you know, what she's telling me is. No, they don't have this They don't have this opportunity. You got an E here. You got an H. You got an I. You got an A. You got an M. And let me say this because somebody asked me today in one of my comments. This could be first, middle, last initials for the beginning of the person's name, the ending of the person's name, or yours, or even nicknames. If you want to add it in the middle when doubles come out, that's fine. Okay? You got another E. Like right now, if there's double E's in your name, that's what that's. You can add it like that. You got an N. You got a U. And you can even spell the names out. People have done it before my channel. You got a P. You got an E. You got a C. I feel like somebody here suffers a lot from um, HI. I feel like somebody is going through it really, really bad when it comes to um, C. Somebody might be in the hospital here looking at my um, at this reading right now. G. E is very significant here. You got another E. That's three E's. You got another E. That's four E's. 
You got another HI, which is very significant here in this reading too. So let's flip. You got three HIs. You got two Cs. Uh-uh. You got one, two, three, four, five E's. Mm -mm. So let's flip these two E's first and see what I can get y'all. You got a V. You got an N, which could also be a Z. So let's see. Let me flip these two E's because you got one more E left down on the table. Let me see. You got A. Let's double A already. It flipped into a B by mistake. Okay. It was an, it was an A. I just put that A down. This was an A and it flipped to a B by mistake. You got a U. Another um, N, which could also be a U. Okay, so let me flip this U and this C because you got double C. Let's see what I can get you. You got an IH, very significant around here. IH, now you got four of them. You got an O. Okay, so let's flip. Um, my God, it was a V and it flipped into an IH. For some reason, this is very significant here. I feel like there's a pasta when you're trying to say something. I feel like there's a, oh my God, hold on a minute. You got an H-I. This person, this past love one could uh, start with an H or an I or end their name with an H and I. Because I feel like a past love one's in here. And I feel like they're telling me they were very hot. And it, they were like going through it when they passed away. And it was like all of a sudden, boom, it just happened. And they felt very hot in their face, up in the area. And they were sweating a lot. It was like something that couldn't be done. They said they, nobody could help them. It was their time to go. And I feel like somebody's feeling the same thing from this person because they're making you feel it. They're trying to get to you. They're trying to give you a message. They're trying to communicate with you. Try to put light up a light to that past loved one because they suffered a lot. And they suffered. It was not a lot. It was happened automatically. It could have been a heart attack is what they're saying to me or a stroke. But it made their face and their whole upper area very hot. Very hot. They were sweating. They were trying to say something. They couldn't say it. You have an E here. Okay, you got three IHs. Let's flip these two. You got one, two, three, four. I'm flipping these two. But I'm leaving that H I. She told me to leave it on the table. You got a C. That's another C. But you got another H I here. Very significant around here. Let me flip this H I. L. Yeah, and I'm going to leave this one here because she told me to leave it here for a reason. Okay, you have double C's. Let me flip this one and see what I can get you. A. Okay. Let me flip this A. I always like to flip it. I will be here all day flipping. Okay, you got an F. So I'm going to stop, okay? She told me to grab the last one. Oh, all right? So collective, beautiful things are coming your way. Just know, just, you know what? Claim the success, the abundance, the love, and whoever you're missing here, whoever's a soulmate connection here that didn't lift off the ground or something happened and you couldn't keep on moving, you need to, somebody needs to make the first move here. But there's a soulmate connection coming in or there's somebody coming in and leave all this fuck you from the past. And whoever here did voodoo to, whoever here's doing witchcraft, whoever's doing this fuck you, they're going to get karma. But they don't stop because they don't want you to be happy for what reason. I don't know. This person, I don't know. It comes from the family or somebody you call family. All right. I'm going to wish you the best of luck. I love you all and I'll see you later, my loves.